uh, session four. Let's see. Uh, the first talk is given by uh, A. Kapitolnik, uh, Synthesis of Thin Film Perovskite Superconductors. Thanks. I'm glad I put this slide first so you could see all those people that are involved in this project at Stanford. I want in particular to mention, uh, to, to uh, thank uh, Michio Naito and, and uh, Doug Smith and Mike Kirk, who are mostly responsible for our tunneling data. And let me just lend this effort at Stanford. Uh, we are doing a little bit of, of bulk materials, mostly because uh, we want to try things before uh, we are doing uh, thin films, uh, which is our main effort. Uh, some of the results are, are here. I want to go quick because I want to show you some of the tunneling data. And here we come to thin films. Mostly we were concerned with the lanthanum strontium copper oxide, which I want to point out is very, very difficult to grow uh, as a thin film. And only last, last week we started with uh, growing ethereum barium. Uh, unfortunately, unlike tho those guys in the East Coast, we could not go every evening to work in the lab. So this is the data so far uh, for the ethereum barium. But for the lanthanum strontium, strontium, we have pretty good data. Now, we did tunneling measurements to this uh, uh, lanthanum strontium. Uh, using two techniques. One is the famous uh, just sandwich uh, using uh, lead as counter uh, electrode. And of course, I will not tell you what is the barrier. And uh, the other is uh, using point contact, uh, which will uh, show to be very, very useful uh, because we have uh, essentially single crystals, very, very interesting single crystal we can tunnel into. OK, the films were characterized and, and they were verified to be of the 214 structure. And uh, the nice thing about this business is that we could grow the films uh, with the C-axis lined in the plane of the film and the 110 uh, direction is perpendicular to the film. This means that if I'm doing tunneling, I'm going this direction. And just to convince you, let me show you how the film looked like. And you can see the, the individual planes. And this is 6.6 .6 angstrom. <laughs> OK. Let's go to the tunneling data. First, the, the, uh, first, first the uh, sandwich type uh, uh, structure. And you can see that, uh, like all the other uh, tunneling data, we also can find all, all sorts of, of, of uh, spots on our films. And uh, just to show you, we can find spots that do not show uh, such nice uh, tunneling uh, curves. These are the, this is the, the, the uh, differential conductance. And, but, uh, uh, and, and that show uh, low gap, but we do find uh, more than uh, uh, ones. Uh, uh, we, we can find uh, uh, spots where we find very, very large gap. Now, I showed you the films are are really a single crystal, and, uh, and uh, we, have, we have grains which are like one micron in size. Uh, in between, uh, inside these grains, we have a, a, a structure of uh, like one, 100 uh, angstrom in size. And it <coughs> essentially, there, we have real single crystal. Uh, this suggests to do the uh, point contact tunneling because uh, there we, we, we really go, uh, we really tunnel into very, very small uh, areas and can probe those uh, single crystals. Now remember that we have the planes, the planes la line like this and we tunnel in this direction. And here you see some characteristic of, of uh, the point contact tunneling. And I want to, in particular, to uh, point at this curve. And I want to say that this, this happens occasionally. I mean, this is not a real curve. And we actually have statistics uh, on, on this curve, and uh, we find roughly the two delta is 35 milli electron volt. Uh, I will, uh, if I'll have time, I'll talk about this, these repetitions. I don't think they are that significant, but you can see that the tunnel junction is a very good one. Just to convince you that we are talking about a real, real uh, 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 thing, let me show you point contact tunneling into the YBCO. 
And uh, <coughs> for both materials, you can see the same structure, the same 135 uh, uh, characteristic. We find this in more than one place, and we find the two delta here is like 91 uh, milli electron volt. Both materials, the, the YBCO and the uh, latinum strontium, suggest the two delta over K Boltzmann TC is 11 and 12. It's between 11 and 12. Now, just to show you some collection of data, here you see a bunch of, of, of points that are located in those 1, 3, 5, and, and uh, each of them is a very sharp, nice uh, uh, tunneling, tunneling data. And again, to point out, they appear both in the yttrium barium copper oxide and the lanthanum strontium copper oxide field. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next paper is uh, magnetization and some transport properties of lanthanum strontium copper and yttrium barium copper oxides. Papers given. By